subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon for new video notifications hey guys welcome to automation studio this is Praveen and uh, today's agenda is the password encryption so we are going to see here encode and decode of the password so let's understand why it is necessary so as we all know like we, we people are dealing with the automation world so in uh, most of the scenarios uh, we used to provide our login ID and password details within the uh, automation uh, testing scenarios so which is not a good practice at all because uh, let, uh, let's say you are dealing with the security domain uh, application or you are dealing with a banking uh, domain application so where the password is uh, a concern is a high, highly uh, sensitive thing which you should not uh, expose anywhere so but uh, if you will uh, put it openly uh, under your test code then it could be uh, create a big mess your client uh, will execute it then uh, it, it could be a create a big mess so uh, for the security domain and for the banking domain uh, there are the password policies uh, the organization used to follow and in order to you know, follow those policies uh, we need to make our script password as encrypted so how it is possible how we can achieve it so how we can uh, pass it under the test script so in your general practice when we used to provide the password as a string uh, under our test scripts so instead of that we should uh, just encode it uh, let's say in the type of byte and uh, when it will encode it it then we'll type us to string and then we provide it so let's say my name is Praveen and I will decode it oh sorry I, I have encoded it so it will encode into some some different string and uh, when I will pass it uh, to my script so before passing it I will just decode it so that whenever it will uh, type in the text box so it will decode to the write a string so like that we can do it so in Java there are so many libraries so we are going to uh, use here Apache base uh, 64 library for encode and decode and uh, how to encode and decode in the script we, we I'm going to uh, show you in a small demo so let us start with this so let's understand first how to encode and how how can we decode a string so i'm going to explain you uh, within a just a simple uh, java class so which i'm going to use it further for the automation so as of now i have just um, a public static void man method over here so what i will do here um, let me create a string called uh, password is equal to and I will say my password is um, let's say password underscore one two three so let's say this is my password and I want to encrypt it so what can I do what should I do like I will use page 64 and start and code page 64 and within that i should pass password and i have to convert into the gate byte so like that it will convert into into bytes see it will convert into bytes so i will say byte array and i will say password byte like that okay now you have to make sure like this base 64 uh, should be come from this particular uh, library so i am using here apache common codec binary base 64 so make sure because uh, there may be some other library also belongs to base 64 so i will convert it into the byte array so um, 
uh, let me print it so here is this out and uh, I should say encrypt it password is now it's in wide array so let me convert into string so like that I can convert it like this now let me run it so let's run it. so see now the encrypted password is something like this so I just have the password say password underscore one two three and it's encrypted into the password something like this so that means I have to use uh, this password instead of password123 the encrypted one so for my test scripts this if I will pass this particular password so when I will pass this password for my scripts so it's it's just a encoded one so while decoding it will it will convert into the password underscore one to three and pass it to my script so let's decode it as well so I mean this is a I will say encoded part and here is my decoded part decoded part okay so what I will do here so I have this password already encoded okay now let me decode it so how to decode it so again I will call the 64 and its decode method so decode base 64 under that I can pass this particular byte array and it will decode it when it will decode it what it will do it will give me again the byte array so let's uh, I will say password decode it okay now let me print it again now it should decode it password now okay now let's see so if you are able to see here I have encoded into this one and I have successfully decoded into this one so like that you can encode it so what is the practice we need to follow suppose uh, we need to provide the password in our test script so we know the password so first encode it and once you will get the encodation then password the particular password in your script and then just decode it that's it so we will see how to do it through through the automation script so let me convert this uh, particular code into a simple method so that I can use it so what I am going to do here I will say public uh, static and it will give me a string and uh, I will say decode sorry first encode password okay. let me first encode it so if I will pass here um, string to encode it okay then it will just provide me the encoded password so how can I do that so we have just seen here base 64 dot encode base and if, if I will use pass here then get bytes right uh, so like that it will give me here the it's a simple like this but I want it in the form of a string right so I need to convert again to a string then I need to use it okay in the same way I have to use it for the decode so I will say decode and the password here and I should use decode so decode that's it so now what should I do here, like instead of this, 
I just call this particular method. That's it. So, what is my password? Password. Okay. And let me store somewhere. String and code it. Password is equal to. Let me pass over here itself and code it password. And then let me decode it again. So instead of this, just let me pass this again. Put it so it will decode it. Sorry. So run it. So it's successfully encoding encryption and decryption. It's going perfectly. So it's encrypted one and decrypted one. Now we are going to see how to use it in a, in a real time scenarios. So our method is ready. So you can uh, store this method in some uh, wrapper files or some utility file and then you can call it whenever you, you need it. Okay. So I have here uh, Facebook encoded password test class within this I have created one test method test Facebook test and uh, uh, I have these uh, desired capabilities and within that I am launching the Safari browser and within that I am initiating this URL which is nothing but a mobile Facebook link and uh, after that I am providing the login ID and the password. So as of now I have password mentioned as password123 and then I am creating or uh, I am uh, clicking on the login button. And wait for 10 seconds then quit let's say if i have to encode it this password one two three then what should i do here so public static uh, white man and then uh, let me put this one and this out and let me call this method within this password underscore one two three okay and let me call it so this is the encoded right so just copy it and pass instead of this that's it and when you are passing it so you need to decode it so just use this decode one so like this that's it so your password one two three will be encoded in this form and when you are passing to the script then you are decoding again so for the out out world um uh, no one can guess like what will be your password because you are decoding here again so at the execution time it the deco decoding will will go into the progress and uh, then it will pass the right password into into the app before decoding let's print it so let me print it so i have just decoded it and before that i'm just printing like for the sake of like what we are doing here so but in real time situation you should not do that so I just wanted to see uh, when it will decode, it should decode to again password underscore one to three. So I'm just confirming it and then I'm just passing over here. So let me run it. Now the execution is in the focus. Now it's launching the browser, initiating the URL. Now it should enter the email and password. It should print it. Yeah, so it's printed password one two three. So the it's encode decoded successfully. So like this, you can encode uh, the password for your test script so that it should not expose to the 
uh, outside world so people should not uh, able to understand what is your password really is and uh, so that your this data will be secure and you can execute it anywhere on the client location or on the remote machine or anywhere so that's it for now guys so uh, this is what about for this session so I hope this you like this session so this is all about the uh, encryption and decryption of the password so this is how you can encode and decode the password for your uh, test data generation so that it will be helpful for where there will be some security concern toward the password so it will help for you so i will see you in the next video guys if you have liked this video please uh, hit the like button if you have any comments please uh, comment in the comment box and uh, please subscribe and share it with your friends so take care bye bye i will see you in the next video bye